Okay, so you have five days to live, and somebody okay. gives you a trillion dollars. What do trillion. you do? I save it. Save it? Save For it. five days? Blow it. Why? On well, well, well. Well, what do we have here? Uh, we're just hanging out. Mm, likely story. Looks like a date to me. <laughs> no, we're just friends. Care to prove it? Huh? My trusty lie detector never lets me down. Question number one. Who paid for the coffee? Uh, we split it. I mean, it would have been nice if you paid. Question number two. Where are you going after this? To do homework. <laughs> A nerd. Hmm, have you used any cute pet names tonight? Like cutie, baby, or... Nice, sweet little cabbage. God, you're weird. I know I am. No. Hmm. Seems like you are telling the truth. Yeah, I told you it's not a date. Hmm. We'll see about that. Have you tried using any of your ship names like Maddock or Brat? That, <laughs> that's kind of good. <laughs> no, I don't do that. You lied? Okay, maybe I've thought about it. <laughs> Just think, if me and Brooke were to date, our ship name would be Brooke. Bro okay. Right? Okay. Brooke, Bro you don't have Going to. Going over go. there now. Oh, wait, no, no, no. <sighs> you, you thought this was a date, didn't you? Totally. Of course. What's up, everybody? It's Indiana. Welcome back to another excellent episode of Brat Chat. Today, we have Molly Murphy in the house to play another wild edition of Sip or Spill, as well as an exclusive behind-the-scenes look of the making of the Denim Jacket music video. We also have a really cool musical performance at the end, so sit back and enjoy the show. Hey, guys, I'm here with Molly, and we're about to play Sip or Spill. You guys know how this game works, so let's get into it. Okay, Marley, first question. What's your favorite song from Overnights? Uh, favorite song? I never meant to fall in love. I never meant yeah, to fall, fall in love, love with you. Yeah, yeah I would say good. I never meant to fall in love would be my favorite. <gasps> oh, T, oh T, T. Okay, no. okay, okay. Marley, okay. who was the best musician on Overnights? She's debating answering this. So you can't pick favorites. It looks like it could be coffee or tea. I'm hoping it's actually, maybe it's actually tea. Mm. Wait. I think it's a pumpkin spice latte. Hmm. Kind of tastes like it. I wouldn't know, I've never had one. Not to diss the basics. It's a little basic. It's, it's kind of basic. You've been on a lot of brat shows. Which is your favorite? We got, we got Overnight, we got yeah. Chicken Girl, we have Brat Chat. I, I can't. Mm, you have five seconds. It, five. It, four. Three, no, we're spinning. We're spinning. Five, okay. I really wanted that? you to get that one. That. Oh, I've had this before. Why? It's like it's actually not that bad. It's like it's like chia stuff. It's like chia. It's not that bad. It's just like the texture is really weird. Who is your favorite person to work with in the brat universe? I really enjoyed working with Brenna. Like she was one of the first people I became like friends with in the Brat cool. universe. She was amazing. Makai and I still talk, so he was awesome to work with. There were so many great people. You were one of my favorites to work with too. Just because like we were doing some interesting stuff on the show. So that was our last question. Thank you so much for joining us on Brat Chat and thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in another episode next week. Bye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I still wear your denim jacket. Not sure why I even have it. It never gets old, just like you and me. I know I shouldn't, no, I shouldn't. I'm just really nervous. So is Lilia. It was like we've never done anything like that before. And it was so weird. We had to like go in and like 
put the headphones on and like I, I heard my voice. Broke your heart, I broke your heart in a million ways. I hate watching myself on screen, and so I also do not enjoy listening to myself. I mean, everyone in there was so sweet and encouraging the whole time. They're like, you guys are doing so good, and they were so nice. And it got really fun. Once like 10 minutes in, we were getting into it and we started singing. It was like we could kind of do anything we wanted, and we didn't have to be embarrassed about anything. I've been in music videos, but I've never been in my own music video, which is weird to even say. We had to look straight into the camera, and we were like, this is so unnatural for us. And so it was weird to have to act and sing at the same time. It was really fun to do, though, and I love the storyline of the music video, and I love the people in it. Getting to kind of bounce off of each other while filming was really fun and getting to do it with my best friend. That was the best time ever. Let's catch up this week on Brat. On Chicken Girls, Ryan was left alone for Thanksgiving when Harmony and their parents jetted off to LA for the holiday. Kayla and Flash are still on the outs. She won't even talk to him. Ouch. Ellie discovered that Beatrice is only dating Tim for a bet with the bees. Poor Tim. But with the holiday, we had a lot to be thankful for, including a kiss between Ellie and Robbie. Finally! On Manny, the kids got a tour of the Jitterbug Factory, which is cool at first, but quickly turned freaky when they found out they had to compete in some zany competitions. Meanwhile, Skye and Brittany left school in order to head to Jitterbug to save their friends. Goth Girl was the first eliminated from the competition, and Miss Haredo is not the nice lady she appeared to be. Yikes. On the Total Eclipse finale, Cassie went to Vanilla and Sage to admit to shoplifting. After admitting to a crime she didn't commit, Cassie, Kate, and the rest of their friends got ready for the winter formal. At the dance, Morgan ended up asking Eli to dance, and Julian even showed up as Diana's date. But that wasn't even the worst part of Cassie's night. The police came to arrest her for the shoplifting. Will Jenna be able to use her superhero powers to save her friend? 